Good morning, guys. From Idaho. I'm on the northwestern side of a town called McCall off a forest service road heading towards Last Chance Campground. If anybody wants to uh, come up this way, I highly suggest it. There's plenty of free parking, as you can see. And if you guys haven't heard me mention before, when you're on public land, you can park for free overnight for up to 14 days. Uh, this morning's breakfast is a new one. I got this uh, Asian vegetable mix last night at the store. But the odd thing is, is that it has, in addition to the vegetables, it has like maltodextrin, soy sauce, uh, wheat, uh, sugar, all kinds of like strange things. So I wasn't really expecting that. I thought when you get frozen vegetables, they are just vegetables and nothing more. And then I mixed them with these organic Great Northern Beans. First time I think that I'm having Great Northern Beans, at least first time I'm cooking them. So today's breakfast is rather healthy, full of fiber and protein. And uh, hopefully I'll get rid of this uh, little spare tire, get my six pack back. <laughs> well, hours later, I'm uh, still here at the same spot. I uh, have been uh, editing away, and I think I have, between yesterday and today, like eight videos completed, so. Way to go, Jax. <laughs> um, so I am, yeah, at the same spot that I drove into last night, um, outside of a town called McCall, uh, between McCall and a place called New Meadow, I believe. And uh, it is really a lovely place. There's a, uh, a river right down here. And there's roads that go all really far into the, uh, the mountains. So I might, might switch my location uh, a little bit later today. Not quite sure. Um, just been kind of hanging out inside and cooked a lot of beans and veggies and all that fun stuff, making different mix mixtures. And uh, I'm also partly hypochondriac, so I was uh, heating the bus with this uh, propane stove here. And of course, <laughs> you know, get like a little lightheaded and think the carbon monoxide is gonna kill me or something, so. Would probably be a wise idea to get a carbon monoxide sensor, so then I know for sure what the uh, safe level is inside, but I figured I'd just get outside, get a little fresh air. Maybe go for a little walk or something, but it's kind of drizzly. But it does feel good to get outside the bus with or without carbon monoxide. <laughs> get some of this oxygen out here. Um, it's really nice when it rains in the forest. So uh, I think I'm gonna skip an upload today, as well as yesterday and the day before, uh, just cause I'm kinda on a roll here. And uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere. So once, uh, maybe tomorrow I'll just bulk upload like seven videos like ahead. And then that way I'll have like a nice buffer as long as I can stay on it. So uh, anyways, that is the update for now. Um, this is the current state of the bus. Uh, not dirty, not clean, just kind of, um, no, things are out. <laughs> so, I decided to walk up the uh, hill, this little thing, just a moment ago. I had to go back and get my camera because I spotted something across the river completely by accident. All right, guys, you may or may not be able to see what that is, but I will tell you, it starts with an H and ends with an OT, and the second word is starts with an S and ends with a Prings, hot springs, right there, coming out. The only reason I saw it is there was a little steam, but also there's a plastic PVC pipe coming out of there, and clearly a man-made, wall right there. Uh, I did see some people last night 
walking on the path with their headlamps. I just didn't put two and two together. I thought maybe that was some kind of nature walk, so. You guys wanna to go to the hot springs? <laughs> Man, this is some incredible luck. I mean, I know Idaho has a lot of hot springs and everything, but you just walk like this far away, look across the river and see some hot water over there is uh, a thing of beauty. <laughs> Especially when I'm feeling all woozy, but that honestly could be from uh, low sugar intake today because I, all I had was beans and veggies. It's not really my normal routine. It was a great thing that I kept these uh, waterproof boots because I have no problem trekking through this little mud on the way to the hot spring. Oh, man, by the way guys, there is nothing like the smell of uh, a rainy forest. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Whew. Especially when you're slightly paranoid and hypochondriac. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. No one's even here. Ooh, 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 that is nice. That is so nice. And look at how clean it looks. And look at all this water, excess, hot water, just flowing off into the cold water. It makes no sense. There should be like two tubs right here. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is my idea of a good time. Now, I know what you're thinking. Was this an accident? Or was my feeling of carbon monoxide poisoning a sign from some other alternate plane or universe or being? Well, we may never know. They have a world to win. Alright. You guys think of what I'm thinking? I know you are. You guys are smart. That's why I like you. Yes. I'm gonna go use the dump trunk, finish up that edit, try not to die from carbon monoxide, and uh, walk back over to the hot springs. All right, I'm back. I had some honey, feeling better. Uh, probably not carbon monoxide poisoning, probably just a little bit low on blood sugar because I didn't have my normal routine of stuff today. Um, so that's why, you know, laying down and feel a little out of it sometimes. Anyways, uh, I'm packing up the backpack. I got my towel inside, a couple waters. Um, I'm going back over the spring. And since I already showed it to you guys, I'm not gonna bring this camera because it's still wet outside. And also I'm getting naked. All right, boys and girls, slight change of plans. I got some more uh, beans and veggies cooking. I think I've gone through like four of these things today. Starting with, bre starting with breakfast. Also, <coughs> I am kicking butt. Vlog number 216, I think 209 was the last one I posted, so that means a seven day buffer. I still have like five or six more to go. I'm gonna try and bang out a couple more. And then I think I'll just do an evening uh, dip in the springs. And I have the door open to uh, call my paranoia. <laughs> uh, and I think honestly, it was a blood sugar thing because all I had today was beans and veggies and couple pieces of toast so um, I'm gonna be mindful if I stay on the you know the bean routine that rhymes the bean routine it's actually a pretty good routine full of fiber soluble and insoluble fiber veggies you know veggies are good it is a blue light special just like Kmart um, got a little wrapped up in some stuff edited another video didn't end up going out of the hot springs and now it's like really cold <clears throat> i got my beanie on i got my 
This is a yellow jacket. You probably can't even see it, but the blue light turned it like purple or green or something. Green. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna call it a night. Tomorrow for sure I will be going in that hot spring. Uh, I will also be editing some more videos and then I anticipate, judging on what I like to do, I'll be moving locations. So there's a good chance I might just drive into the forest more where there's like a couple lakes and things like that. So I know today wasn't all that eventful, bear with me. Some days are not as eventful as others. Tomorrow definitely will be. So I'll see you guys then.